Hello everybody! Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different than usual. This painting turned out to be a bit more complex than those in my other tutorials, so I'm just going to speed up the video and give you some interesting facts about this weird Phronema amphipod. If you'd like to paint this, feel free to follow along with the artwork. Phronema is a genus of deep sea amphipod that lives in the ocean twilight zone. These little creatures are only about an inch long and are free swimming, occupying open water rather than the benthos or the bottom of the ocean. They are found in nearly every geographical region of the ocean, except for the North and South Pole. A bizarre fact about Phronema is that they parasitize organisms called selps by living inside of their gelatinous bodies. Selps are gelatinous planktonic tunicates and are related to the more well-known sea squirt. They often float in the mesopelagic zone, linked together in long chains, as if each selp was a pearl on a necklace. Chains of selps can migrate through the water column using jet propulsion, pumping water through their flexible bodies. Unfortunately, selps that come in contact with Phronema have an unpleasant fate. To help fare the open waters of the mesopelagic, Phronema take up residence within the soft body of a selp. Using its front claws, Phronema hollows out a defenseless selp and calls it home. The hollowed out selp's tissue becomes rigid, forming a translucent barrel with the phronema inside. This strange amphipod and gory adaptation is thought to have inspired the movie Alien. In this drawing, the selp is the oval structure in which the amphipod is situated. Female phronema lay their eggs inside their selp hole and carry them around as they hatch and grow. Male phronema also dwell within selps. It is suspected that the selp also provides buoyancy to the phronema, allowing it to swim more efficiently. As phronema grows, it moves to a larger host, much like a hermit crab switching shells. Phronema is actually a parasitoid rather than a parasite. Parasites benefit from their hosts without killing them. Parasitoids ultimately terminate the lives of their hosts, unfortunately for selps. Phronema mainly feed on zooplankton, which are small, drifting animals such as copepods. Phronema are preyed upon by mesopelagic fish. A weird but interesting fact is that selps are actually more closely related to you and me than phronema are. Selps may look like formless jelly blobs, akin to jellyfish, but there is more to them than meets the eye. Selps are chordates and share the phylum chordata with humans. The most defining feature of a chordate is the presence of a notochord and a dorsal nerve cord. Other features that unite the chordates are pharyngeal gill slits, an endostyle, and a post-anal tail at some point during development. That's right, human embryos actually have gill slits and tails. These features are of course lost during embryonic development. Phronema, on the other hand, are in the phylum Arthropoda. They are more related to insects and spiders than they are to selps and humans. Arthropods sport jointed appendages, exoskeletons, and segmented bodies. Their exoskeleton, or cuticle, is made of chitin. 
This rigid exterior shell must be shed periodically in order for the arthropod to grow, a process called molting. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something about the odd Phronema amphipod and selps too. Thanks so much for watching.